Okay, welcome. This is KF7YEN with Ham Radio Logic. Here with another Redivus radio. It is the Redivus RT29 16 channel UHF radio. Now, I'm not going to be able to go into programming steps with you at this time. I will do a follow-up uh, follow video with you um, in another video, but I will, how in fact, show you with what the radio comes with. It comes with your antenna, belt clip, battery, the radio itself. Dock charger, strap, and your wall wart charger base to, that plugs into the wall. I think that's awful funny how people say wall wart, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But let's go over a little bit of the manual and show you what the frequency range is and everything is I can describe somewhat of what this radio is capable of but I think it's only analog I don't think it does digital mode but this particular radio is only UHF single band radio So we're going to go on, come in here to the contents of this, of the manual. Uh, unpacking and checking equipment. Supplied accessories. Okay. Basically when, you, when you're <coughs> unpacking and checking the equipment what that means is you're putting the battery on you're putting your belt clip on your antenna make sure all that is on there you don't have to put the belt clip on that is not exactly a must do but once you get the antenna and the battery on you want to make sure you clip on, you turn on the the power volume switch. Check to make sure that there's something there. Of course, it's gonna announce. Bottom button there is programmed to scan the 16 channels One. hit it again to exit out of the scan function you have your two knobs up top here this is your channel knob 1 through 16 and this is your volume on and off switch volume and power switch should I say you got your monitor button and your PTT switch or button. Okay, now it does have a lithium ion battery, which that's on page two tells you what size battery that is much like the Alliance HD1 it takes the same battery um, battery uh, characteristic I think that's what it says characteristic and then charge lithium ion battery Install 
is install or remove battery pack which is pretty simple if you guys already if you guys have a uh, an HD one much like that one it's the same um, shows you how to properly install the antenna belt clip lanyard goes into descript describing how you install describes the shows you the PTT SK1 SK2 which are programmable buttons speaker mic and programming jack which much like the HD one the Redibus RT29 takes the exact same programming cable so no difference there I'm guessing on the inside is probably probably the same exact circuitry uh, basically what you have here is a, a software defined radio with its own onboard CPU that when programmed it it does it all on its own without having to set up anything special special about it right here it all describes your PTT power switch basically what I'm talking about the power on and off and volume switch counterclock or clockwise to turn it on counterclockwise to turn it off and rotate it fully till it stops for maximum volume rotate it counterclockwise all the way till it stops for minimum volume and then continue to rotate it past the click for off the off position programming steps this is basically what it's going to look like when you have your software uh, in here you program from this window you program uh, CTSS, DCS um, your tone and also your frequency which in this case is UHF UHF 400 through 480 here it talks about your Vox on off here it talks about your CT, CSS and DCS for PLL tones this radio is capable of doing UHF 430 400 MHz through 480 MHz and don't let this confuse you it's not a dual band radio it's only a single band set up for UHF but this this particular model of radio does come uh, sorry about that my radio is not focusing or my phone is not focusing there we go it comes in a VHF model as well that ranges from 144 through 130 uh, through 174 megahertz 
for your VHF band and it tells you about all your specifications there this is all your warnings your do's and your don'ts and just to be sure you do have to have a license for this radio it is not a license free operation some more warnings just the things that you shouldn't do with the radio so on and so forth warnings um this particular radio is analog only it does not do digital mode but uh, it does have uh, excuse me for a moment focus here it's being weird okay but anyways the The capacity of the battery is 300 milliamps. Um, uh, so that's three, 300, 3200 amp hours. Sorry, uh, I don't know where I got milliamps from. Um, 3,200 milliamps, milliamp hours, and 23.68 watt hours. Model RT29, voltage. 7.4 volts lithium ion battery pack there you go get the camera all over focus the folks over at Redivis his name is John Chen. He has multiple eBay stores on eBay. He's, he's not only just geared towards radio equipment. He also sells multiple other things. So please give John Chen uh, a look-see at his store on eBay. Redivis on eBay. Um, he also sells the Alliance HD1, which is a Red of his product. Uh, he also sells 
he sells much more stuff. Let's just put it that way. A shout out to John Chen. I got this radio uh, complimentary to do a video because I don't see many many other videos about this particular radio, the RT29, the Red of us RT29. I wanted to go in more depth about this particular radio. What frequency ranges it comes in. It comes in UHF or VHF. Um, much like its predecessor, the Alliance HD1, same body style. I'll give you, I'll give you a, a, a different look here. Just give me a second. Sorry about the screen going dark. Put the battery back on this radio. That's a little bit loose. Apparently, got to push a little hard to get that battery to fully latch. But the uh, the body style is very similar from the HD1. If you think about it, the only thing that's missing is the keypad and screen, and a few other software features but much like the HD1 it is basically the same radio get a closer look here if you look on the side you'll see on the side of these two radios they're the same there Antennas are the same except for the one on the right here, the RT29 is only UHF, it does not support dual band operation. Um, the two programming parts are the same, belt buckles, battery, so you this is the HD one, the Alliance HD one, and this is the RT29, which are compatible to use with both batteries. So I can swap this battery over to this radio and it would work. I can swap this battery over to this radio and it would work. They are both 10 watt max radios. The only difference is, like I say, one does not have the programming or the, the DTMF pad and screen in the front. I think the RT29 is more geared towards uh, your industrial field, business bands, and so on. But you can use this on ham radio frequencies because it is within that band and the charging cradles are both similar so you can use you can use the uh, You can use the uh, charging cradle from the Redivus to charge the Lions HD1 or vice versa. So it doesn't matter which one you drop the charger, the, the radio into. Because they're the same. Just like the programming cable used for the Alliance HD1 can be used for the RT-29.
I will do a follow-up uh, follow video on the Red of us RT29. I just thought I would go ahead and show you guys the differences and the similarities between the Alliance HD1 and the Red of us RT29. Dual band, single band, this is UHF, this is dual band VHF and UHF with a DTMF front panel keypad and display. And I also wanted to do a more in-depth video of this particular radio because I don't see very many videos about this particular radio, the Red of SRT29 on YouTube. So there it is, folks. This has been a new radio update and radio review. I'll say thank you for watching from Ham Radio Logic. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications of future videos and or streams. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, and as always, if you would like to make a donation to s help support my videos and to see more like this, that would be great. Um, thanks again. This is KF7YEN. And we'll say 73s.